Hey guys, it's Tori. Welcome back. So today we are going to be doing a full face of new makeup and these are products I've been dying to play with. I've had most of them for like two or three weeks if not longer but I finally decided to film and I've missed you guys so much. I've missed filming but motorcycle. Gotta love it. We are just going to get started. I'm so excited. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my face and let's get started. Okay, so I went off camera to prime my eyes and literally in the span of those like five minutes, I was gone. I planned on only being on for like 30 seconds, but it turned into like five or 10 minutes because I was peeling off the like plastic covering on my mirror and it left all this sticky residue which you can clearly see on the edges of the mirror and then after I finally got that off this shadow called Prue literally shattered I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it because of the reflectiveness but like it completely came out and it ended in the shade Samantha and so I had to repress it and now it's like all crumbly and shit and you literally you cannot see it on camera like you just can't but in person it looks horrible like it's all fucking lumpy and shit and I tried to repress it and it's just like I thought using maybe rubbing alcohol would like get off the sticky shit no it just like stuck to it so I primed with P. Louise but I'm not gonna be holding that palette up to use the mirror I'm gonna just use my milk highlighter mirror but that's really frustrating like super frustrating but it's fine we're fine everything's fine so I don't even know what I want to do for this look I didn't even tell you what palette I'm using I'm not a terrible youtuber so this is the lunar beauty moon spell book beautiful it's stunning the inside is also beautiful and stunning like look at that i think i want to use these greens and that blue i don't know really but like it's beautiful but i just had a traumatic event with it what the hell anyways i think we're gonna go in with the shade Mar marnie I'm assuming that's from Halloween Town. Um, but I figured since in my mind it is fall already, we would use this palette because I'd been saving to play with it until it was closer to fall. And I already got my flipping leaves candle back there. And we are ready. I'm gonna be decorating here soon. Today is um, August 6th. And also I have my window cracked open because I turned off my air conditioning. So that stupid annoying humming wasn't in the background of my videos, but you might hear like cars and stuff a little bit. So it was kind of like pick and choose your battles, but I'm like melting right now. It's so hot right now. Like it is just so hot out. This video probably won't go up for a couple weeks. Um, I just like have, filmed when I feel like filming but then I like edit it and upload it and then I don't make it public for like weeks and I don't know why it's just because like I had so many videos um filmed and edited and I'm not someone who wants to like bop out four or five videos in a week because I can't keep up with that and I want to at least upload once a week. So I've just kind of been like saving videos so that I have something to post every week. And I know once school starts, me filming is, I don't know how I'm going to find the time for it. I'm going to try. I'm really going to try my very best. But I literally start school on the 17th. I start school in a week and a half. I'm going to be a senior. And then I'm going to be 18. Like, what the actual fuck is going on? It's crazy. So this color is pretty. Um, it's patchy, which is just great. Um, I was literally so excited to film. And now, like, 
everything is just going wrong. Why does it look like that? Like, why? Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? I'm so excited for fall time. Not excited to be a senior. That scares the absolute shit out of me because as soon as I'm a senior, literally like two months, I turn 18 and then I'm an adult. I'm not ready to be an adult. I'm not, I'm not ready to plan for my future college wise. Obviously I'm going to cosmetology school and like obviously that's what I want to do for the rest of my life. But I don't know if I want to go to college. I thought I did. I had myself set on going to college. I didn't know where, but like I knew I was going to go to college. And now I'm just like, I don't know if I feel like it. I don't know if I want to fork out the money for that. And then I have to buy a computer, which I also can't afford. And it's just like so many things on top of each other. I'm now going on, going in with the shade Bonnie, which I'm assuming that name is from Vampire Diaries because she was the witch. But um, it's just like the only other green shade in the whole palette. It's right next to Marnie. But I don't want to have to hold the palette up too much because like that shade is broken and I really don't want it. Oh fuck, that's not the right color. I don't want it to break. Also, I want to address this chapstick that's sitting right there. Um, that is there because my boyfriend fixed those white drawers for me and um, my room is on a hill and so the drawers won't align correctly. So he was like, oh, I'll just stick this there just to push them straight up so I don't fall and tilt and the drawers don't pop out. And so it's been working, so I just leave it there. I know it's not fun to look at and I know it looks strange, but um, it works. It's, it is what it is basically, it's where I'm at. Do you see that patch right there? You definitely see it because I see it and it's annoying me. I was waiting to film this video for when I got my Butte Bean, it's freaking Bats palette. And it was supposed to come in today because I was gonna film on Wednesday but my delivery thing said that it would be here today. Yeah, it's probably not gonna be here till like Monday. So I was like, I'm just gonna film because I'm tired of waiting to get these um, products. And I have a bunch of other products coming in the mail. I have like four packages coming in the mail. So I'll have plenty of other new makeup to work with with you guys. I think I wanna go in with the shade Mary. See, like the ideal choice would be to go in with this shade but I don't want to be typical. So I'm gonna do something different here. Just going to apply that to the lid. It's very pretty. This is the shade Mary. I don't remember if I said that or not, but we're just gonna apply that all over the lid. I think for the lower lash line, I might do a pop of the turquoise or something a little different i don't know but manny does such a great job with his shimmers and i'm not gonna be too pissed at this palette for shattering a shade like literally i just bumped it on my desk so i don't know why it shattered the way it did but i'm not gonna be like oh i'm never buying another lunar beauty palette that is wow Ooh, that's so pretty. Also, I got this palette on Beauty Bay. I don't think you can get it on his website anymore, but I got mine on Beauty Bay. So if you do want it, Beauty Bay. I'm gonna go do the other eye, put on my lashes, and then we'll be back. Okay, so it's been a good 20 minutes, but I did my liner, lashes. These are the Kiss Russian Volume, which for some reason I tend to like when I do green. I don't know why, but I just didn't feel like wearing my Dose of Joes um, today. So this is what we went with. But my face is a little pink because I'm like dying of a heat stroke in here. It's bloody hot. But this is something that Josephine recommends 
in every single one of her videos and i went to cleveland as you guys saw my vlog if you watched that if you haven't go check it out i picked this up and i'm so excited to play with it i haven't tried it i've been dying to use a bunch of these products like i have so many good brand new products to try today but this is the wishful thirst trap juice and just look at the packaging beautiful it's stunning so i want to smell it i'm excited to see what it smells like she's on like huda beauty's um pr list but i trust her opinion so much what is this thing it just smells like clean and it has like one of those like button things so let's soak up a little product yeah like literally just a little but i'm just going to put a little on oh shoot that was way too much on my cheek i'm just gonna like rub it around i don't know i have another primer but i don't feel like using that one i just want to use this so it's very liquidy it does smell good it just smells very clean and i know this is like a serum or whatever but she always puts it on before she does her makeup so that's what i'm going to do it feels really nice in the skin um i have a bug bite on my cheek over here so i don't know why that was important to tell you but let's get a little bit of this on my nose my nose is just so unbelievably dry literally all the time like ever since i got my nose piercing my nose is just so dry and i've had my nose piercing for literally over a year now but something else just to be recommended i literally wanted this the second it came out but i couldn't afford it at the time so when i was in cleveland i picked it up because there was like three giant sephoras and we went to them all so this is the huda beauty glow wish multi-dew skin tint i have the shade o2 fair light um i believe she's the lightest shade but i figured i would go with the second lightest shade so i think i'm gonna use a brush to apply this and then i'll blend it in with a beauty blender um this is the morphe e63 and it's like a little pumpy thing so we're just going to oh that shit's thick i was expecting it to be like liquidy but it also looks i don't know if it looks dark or not yet I haven't... that does look dark whoa it's literally the shade fair light it's the second shade and it looks dark why am i orange oh my god what is happening oh i'm so excited to try this i also have the new morphe glow stunner but i've heard bad things about it and i didn't want to try it out today and then like not like the way it looked but this is like orange as fuck so let's just blend it looks way more orange on camera than it does in person though so i don't know what that's about it's not got like a whole lot of coverage but it has a little bit um it helps with my redness on my cheeks but it looks like super orange on camera and i promise in person it doesn't look that look like that i am super pale right now i haven't tanned in like i think over a month and i need to tan i have a hair on my face i can feel it also, I have a bandaid on my finger because my nail's lifting really bad and I didn't want it to break. So, I did, we'll talk about this as I apply it. This is the Jaclyn Hill Sandy Cream Bronzer. This is from her Hot Tropics collection. Um, obviously, I bought it. It's sitting in my hand. I haven't used it yet. Going with the ColourPop F31 brush. It has no scent. Um, I believe this was like the third shade or something. If you watched my vlog, I believe it was. I think I just got way too much. If you watched my vlog, you heard my explanation on buying this. Um, I did like a haul at the end of products I got in the mail while I was 
gone. At least if I'm good. I'm like 90% sure I did. Because my boyfriend opened them for me the night before and then the next morning I put everything away. But anyways, I did buy this because I watched a lot of reviews on the collection. A lot. I always watch as many Jaclyn Cosmetics reviews as I can find because I just like to know what people think of things. I like to hear other opinions. And I watched a girl that is much, much, much darker than me. Like, she's in that tan to deep shade range. Like, she's pretty dark. And she used, I believe it was the fourth shade, which means it's not the darkest, it's not for the deepest skin tones. And she thought it was too dark on her. So, saying that, I decided that I was going to order it on Morphe's website when it launched on there because the shade Sandy was out of stock on her website, as well as this, which I also bought, which I will be trying today. Um, it was sold out on her website, so I waited until it was on Morphe. I used Afterpay so that I could afford to buy it. I'm still paying that off right now, actually, but I get paid next weekend, so it's like not a big deal at all. Um, so I decided to buy it because I wanted it and every review I did watch really enjoyed it and so yeah that's my explanation um I don't want to offend anyone I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings I did my research because I didn't buy it with my first purchase when I first made a purchase I only bought her lip oil and her um putty highlighter so I didn't purchase it when it first launched because if you saw my ColourPop Fade Into Hue video, I talked about it and everything that was going on and I put picture proof and everything. So I wasn't going to buy it, but then I watched a bunch of reviews and this girl had me convinced that it was good and it was okay for deeper skin tones. So. I purchased it because I buy everything Jacqueline Cosmetics. Except her new like lip treatment line. I'm not buying that. I'm not wasting my money on that. I don't need it. It's just no point. Oh, I have this like itch on my eye. Anyways, I just went in with the Lancome Tinty Dull Concealer. I did pick this up as well. Heard amazing things about it. Um, I got the lightest shade, I believe. It looks very good. It blended out really nice. It looks really pretty on the skin. But now I'm going in with my Jaclyn um, Liquid Highlighter. Uh, I think that these are supposed to be like her loose highlighters, which I don't remember what those are called. Like her mini loose highlighters, but in liquid form. I got the lightest shade, which is the shade Lightning. I'm just going to dab some on the cheeks and a little on my nose. Um, Let's see how this goes. Of course, I'm going to use my sponge, which it tore. So, apparently I need to get a new one out. But we're just going to go in and blend this out. I, um, I wasn't going to buy this either. Obviously, I didn't buy it my first purchase. But I heard really, really good things about it. And this was, like, the main thing other than the lip oil that people were, like, obsessed with. So, I was like, okay, you guys convinced me. Um, I need it. So here we are with it. Um, I know that Jaglyn said she mainly uses this like on her body, but I don't do that. So we're just gonna put it on my face because I can't. Um, I'm gonna go in and set my entire face and my under eyes. Obviously I'm gonna use my Jaclyn under eye powder for my under eyes. And then for my face, I have the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Um, powder it's just a powder i'm not really sure what could be said about this but i'm gonna go set my face and we'll be back 
Okay, so the face is set. I ended up not being able to get that NYX one open. So I just went in with my tried and true. Um, this is amazing. I've hit mega pan on it. And whenever I run out, I'm totally repurchasing this. I've honestly stopped using, like, um, I've stopped using, like, loose setting powder for the most part. Um, I've just really been enjoying the way that these look under my eyes. Like, it just, they, it's amazing. It just, it looks good every time. And then I love my L'Oreal Infallible, so I always go on with that all over my face. Um, I use my powder sponge from Real Techniques for my under eyes and like to set my smile lines, my chin and my forehead where I always get the most like oily or creasy. And then um, I just use my ColourPop F32 brush to set the rest of my face and just kind of like blend everything in. So yeah, um, so far, I think that the foundation looks super pretty, super good. The concealer is kind of creasy. Um, I don't know how well you can see that, but it's a little bit creasy under there. That might have been my fault because I didn't go in and set it right away, but I like the coverage of it. And I don't really mind a little bit of creasing because you can't really tell on my like face when my under eyes crease just because I go in and I um, I just like, I always blow out my lower lash line or do lower lash line mascara and stuff. And then that cream bronzer, I think it was a really good shade for my skin. I really do like it. I just think the color is so pretty. I can't get like my camera to focus the way I want, but I just think the shade was really, really pretty. Um, that liquid highlighter, like, since I set my face, you can't see it too much, but it really just looks like, like, a healthy from within glow, which would be good for people who don't like a super blinding highlight. It looks really pretty on my nose still, but so far I'm really, really enjoying the products. So, I have this, I don't think it's new, but I've just not played with it yet. It's the Bare Minerals Endless Summer Bronzer. Um, I've had this for a while and I've still not used it. It's in the shade Faux Tan. So I'm just going to go in with my ColourPop brush. This is the F29. I use this in every video anytime I do my bronzer. This is the brush I use. I'm just going to apply that. I think it looks pretty. It's very seamless. Um, I like the color of it. It's not too cool, but not too warm. It's like that perfect neutral tone in my opinion. Let's get a little bit of a closer look at it. I think my skin looks amazing. I do. I think my skin looks flawless right now. So I can't really complain too much about that. Oh, I forgot I had these Tower 28 cream blushes to use whoopsie but i have used one and i do like them and then obviously i love the bronzino from them but this is the juvia's place rouge blushed volume 2 it's a little blush duo i think i'm just gonna like lightly mix the shades i also have the bronzer duo which i don't know if i've used that in a video or not but i have used it so i don't have it in my new drawer um those are insanely pigmented holy shit i was trying to go for a, a lighter blushed look which i don't normally do but that is intense oh my it's like the jacqueline blush palette all over again isn't it i have the um cream blush from her and the lip cushion thing coming in the mail from Ulta. I ordered it literally two weeks ago. Like it should be here by now. I don't know what's going on with places. I'm super slow shipping because normally I get stuff from Ulta in like three days. So I don't really know what's happening with that. Um, I have literally two packages from Ulta. A package from Sephora, a package from Shroud, and then a Bath and Body Works package, and a Beauty Bay package. 
I order a lot of stuff, guys. Um, I just do. But, yeah, I have a bunch of stuff coming in the mail. Let me know if you want me to do, like, a big haul where I just haul everything I got in Cleveland and um, everything I've ordered recently. So, for highlighter, we are clearly, obviously, going with the Jaclyn one just to kind of top off all these Jaclyn products that we're using. So, I got the shade Glazed Out. The packaging is super pretty. It's really pretty shade. I have used it, clearly. Um, I couldn't wait. I was too excited to wait. So, I have used... This is the ColourPop F33. The, like, name of the brushes is just wearing off because I literally... These are the only face brushes I ever use. It's super blinding, super pretty. I really, really love this formula. I hope she makes it permanent at some point because I think she really killed it. Um, I have a hair in my eyelash. Don't get a dog that sheds really bad. Like you literally will have hair in your eyelashes, your brushes, every crevice of the house just has dog hair. And I sweep every single day and I can't wear black because it'll be covered in dog hair. I love her to death. She's the sweetest little thing. She's my baby, but hair just goes everywhere. So that's what everything is looking like. Um, I'm also going to pop this on my inner corners because you guys know I love a blinding inner corner. So I'm really gonna pack that in there. Cute, so cute. I really wanna do the teal, but I think I'm gonna do the purple. It's the shade Sabrina. It's like the super, super bright purple. I'm gonna pray that this doesn't mess up my makeup look, but I'm just going with a really small, smudger brush this is the jessup 226 smudger and i'm just packing that on my lower lash line so me and my boyfriend watched the show the last man on earth and it is so good it's so funny we literally finished it in like two weeks keep in mind we like don't live together or anything but every time we hang out, that was the only thing we would watch. And it was so good. It's on Hulu. Um, it's four seasons. And I literally recommend it so much. It's just so good. I love that show. Like, that's something that I could rewatch over and over again. Because it's, like, funny. And it's a comfort show. Like, Friends is my comfort show. Everybody knows that. Friends is just my favorite show in the entire world. And anytime I have absolutely nothing else to watch, that is what I watch. I've been very backed up on YouTube videos lately because I've been watching that show so much. And because I just like have been so, so busy. I have not like only been laying in bed all day long. I literally went to the salon every single day this week. I also went to Cosmoprof for the first time. I don't remember if I said that earlier. But if I didn't, I went to Cosmoprof, so much fun. I loved it, such a great experience. I like it. I think it looks okay. Um, it's just like a little pop, you know, to like this typical basic grungy look. But I'm going to go in and I'm going to do my lashes, like my lower lashes, do my lip, and then we will be back. Okay, so I actually forgot that I have the Kosas Air Brow. I just have the clear version, but I'm just gonna test it out really quick. Um, I haven't been putting any like pencil or anything in my brows lately. I've just been using a brow gel. My go-to is the NYX Brow Glue. I love that. Um, I have a restock of it. I just haven't switched it out to the new one yet, which I probably should. Um, this formula is quite liquidy. I'm just so used to that like super sticky glue like texture, but I like how little the brush is. I feel like it's picking up my lash as well. Okay, so for lips, I went in with the Jaclyn Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Caramel Latte. I 
haven't used this shade yet but i think it's a really really pretty shade and then i also went in with the brand new jacqueline limited edition birthday glosses and i have the shade audacious um it's like super shimmery in the bottle and if you look up close my lips look like they have like glitters on them but from afar they're just like super wet and really pretty like i love this lip i love this look there is not a single product i didn't like um i think my skin just it really looks amazing like i would wear this skin on a daily basis i think everything blended out nice like even the shade of the um glowish product doesn't look too dark anymore and say i do fall in love with it either one i can just sell tan or two i can just buy the lighter shade it's kind of expensive but if i really love a product i'm willing to do that but i really enjoy my skin there's literally not a single product i didn't enjoy today so we got off to a bit of a rocky start because my palette broke but i really really love this look so with all of that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe to my face and i will see you guys next time bye